hello world in this video we are going to see how we can import a workbench mesh file into open foam and use it to do calculations as you can see i already have a mesh file inside the workbench meshing module initially i'm going to give the naming selections and these naming selections will automatically get imported into open foam also so make sure you are giving it just like how you do for ansys fluent i'll click on this give it as inlet and i'll give this as outlet and by default in fluent all the remaining walls which uh, is not defined by a naming selection will be taken as wall but if you want to give some specific naming also that is not a problem in this case i'm going to select this surface and name it as cylinder so you can see that there are three naming selections the first is the inlet second is the outlet and third is the cylinder so these naming selections will automatically get imported into open foam while you input the mesh file so the first process would be to save this file so click on file go to export click on mesh and make sure to click on fluent input file only this is accepted inside open foam for uh, certain commands i'll click on this and click on export now make sure that it is a dot msh file and you can go into any directory and give it any name in this case i'm going to save it as flow over a cylinder dot msh uh, in some cases like fluent meshing indigenous fluent meshing it will be dot msh dot h file that will be addressed in a different video in this case we are using only the dot msh file which is of the workbench meshing model now i will save this now wait for some time until you can see the mesh translation is successful now you can go into your terminal i am inside my wsl terminal and inside this i have created a folder for tutorial if you see here i have only the basic files for any open form uh, calculation that is zero constant and system now i will show this in explorer you can see inside the zero there are four files uh, this is a buoyance into foam simulation but it need not be any specific simulation the process is same for all the tutorials for example even if you take simple foam simple foam ico foam or any heat transfer the process remains the same for how we import the ansys mesh file into open foam so basically you just need zero constant and system files and uh, make sure there is no poly mesh file folder inside the constant if it is there you can delete it and also in some cases inside the system there will be block mesh file and you don't need that actually so even if it is there you may or may not delete it it doesn't matter uh, but here you can see there is no para view file which we use to visualize the mesh so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into terminal i'm going to create a para view file by the command touch para.foam so once i do this you can see i have the para view file but if i open this right now you can see that it will throw an error because there is no mesh file inside the constant folder you can see there is con uh, para.foam contains no meshes error so we have to create the mesh file and it has to be there inside the constant folder inside poly mesh folder so what i'm going to do is go into the folder which uh, has the mesh file the one we saved from fluent so i'm going to copy this i am going to paste it in this folder make sure you are not pasting somewhere inside all of these it has to be there inside the tutorial folder it has to be there along with zero constant system and the para view file okay after doing this i can again go into my command prompt that is the terminal and make sure the file is present okay it has to be there in the format of dot msh now there is a command called fluent 3d mesh to foam and in this uh, word 
certain letters are capital and certain letters are small letters so it is a case sensitive command so make sure that the d m t and f are in the capital cases so basically all the first letter of words other than the first word is a capital letter and 3d is by default with the d in caps so after you type in this keyword make sure it is followed by as a space and then you can type in the mesh file name so it is fluent 3d mesh to foam followed by a space followed by the name of the uh, mesh file press enter you can see it is creating the mesh and after you get this end you can see that there are three type of uh, boundaries here the wall pressure outlet velocity inlet but in the naming selection that is the patch in case of open foam you can see there is wall there is inlet there is outlet and then there is a cylinder but the type of the cylinder is wall because cylinder is basically just a name for our own convenience other than that it is just like any other wall now i can go into this constant folder and you can see the polymesh folder has appeared i'll go into this to find all the boundary cell zone cases and all other files inside this so this folder is basically what defines your mesh file is now i can go into para view now now you can see there is no error because we have the mesh file but this is just a solid surface so i will select the mode of surface with edges and you can see we have exactly imported the file that is a mesh file from fluent just like how it is in the fluent and to check whether your naming selections have come properly you can select deselect the internal mesh select on the group wall and click on apply you can see only the walls are remaining that is cylinder is a wall this is a wall this is a wall and the inlet and outlet has disappeared also we have deselected the internal mesh so it will not be there in the visualization then we can see what is the cylinder alone this is the cylinder and see what is the inlet outlet So we have the inlet outlet now i'll select inlet outlet um, group wall cylinder and wall solid also so this is basically our whole mesh file but this is only the outer mesh now if i select the internal mesh i'll have the whole mesh file so this is how we import mesh files from fluent into open foam but this is only for the case of uh, workbench meshing model if it is fluent meshing the case will be different and another video will be uploaded for the same so for now this can be used on how to import any fluent mesh file into open foam i hope you liked the video if you did like drop down a like consider subscribing my channel and comment down if you have any doubts. Thank you.